away. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Very good indeed. No, 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 no. Don't try to move just yet. You aren't strong enough. Well, you have the muscle mass, but your energy reserves are still depleted. Yes, yes, I know they're annoying. Just a precaution while you recover, nothing permanent. Now, are you up to a little conversation? Oh dear, still a bit groggy and crusty, I see. We'll ease into it. Tell me, do you remember your name? Mm, I thought not. Bit of a long shot at that. The wreck was impressive to behold for sure. Yes, yes. The old name would not do any longer anyway. Uh, oh, we'll get to that once we start taking inventory of uh, your new real estate. Introductions, I do declare. Where are my manners? Mm, probably at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, along with the hopes of Megalodon enthusiasts. <laughs> the beast still prowls the deep. I can hear them now. Anyway, my name is Mr. Knoll, and it is absolutely wonderful to meet you, my guest. Yes, I did say no. I know, a bit odd, but I've gotten used to it. I always wanted to marry into a family with the surname of Void, and ask my wife to keep her name as, you know, then we'd be... Null and Void. <laughs> silly, silly, I know, but it's the little things in life. Or, well, the closest thing we have to life. Well, seeing as you cannot remember your name, I'll forgive the absence of a reciprocal offering of greeting on your behalf. Yes, yes, no trouble at all. Would you like a new name? Oh, no, I'm afraid your old name wouldn't do much good at this point. I should explain. You were involved in a very, very, very nasty car accident. Yeah. Speaking of which, did I get all of the mess off my... Yeah. Yes, very good. Always paranoid about that mess. Yeah. I do mean a very nasty accident. I was surprised the uh, vehicle was still intact. Beg your pardon? Oh, about that. You see, well, the thing is, yeah, I guess there's no good way to say this. When you ask how did I survive if it was so bad, you didn't. Terribly sorry to break the news to you, but you were in fact quite dead by the time I got to you. Dead and dismembered. It was like someone took your body, stuffed it into a shotgun shell, fired the shell at a brick wall, then took the wall and threw it into a gigantic blender. Okay, 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 fair enough, fair enough. I do tend to forget the sensibilities of the uninitiated mm, internal organs, epidermis still intact, I'm used to the splatter, dear oh dear. I suppose it is a bit traumatizing. My good friend, I do apologize for being so inconsiderate. It's just that my mind works so quickly and in so many different directions, it's hard to bear in mind the social obligations to observe while also planning the reattachment of ligaments and the cohesive operation of multi-subject cardiovascular systems, to say nothing of catching up on the latest from my YouTube subscriptions. And should I get Prime again? I wasn't really using it, and Bezos certainly isn't hurting for cash, but there's that new series I want to watch. No bother. Where was I? What? Oh, I would have thought it obvious how you got here. I brought you here. Oh, here isn't still alive? Well, alive is such a gray area, you know? Of course you don't know. I'm explaining it to you because you asked. Why would you know already? Blah. I found your head at the site of the car crash. A bit bruised up and scraped, and there was the slight problem of the gaping hole at the bottom of your neck where a torso should be. But otherwise, it was in very decent condition. So I nicked it before the officers of the law and emergency services could enter stage right. Then I brought you here, to my humble abode, and sorted you out. How do you feel, by the way? I'm a, a little embarrassed to admit this, but the trip here wasn't the smoothest. So you may have a little headache and or bruising in the uh, everywhere region of the scalp. Sorry about that. I, I, I do what I can, but... My truck is in dire need of some service, and money's been tight lately. Tighter than a hydraulic vice. That's a thing, isn't it? Or is it a press? Hmm, both? Indeterminate. Unknown. Possibly, potentially, practically. Rah! Thought train derailed again. <laughs> 
Yes, you do have a body now. So, what do you think? How do you like your new digs? It's a bit bigger overall. You came in uh, six foot two, according to your driver's license before. Or was it five foot ten? So it might be a minute adjustment to your new stature, which, if I remember right, seven foot eight. Yes, that's what it was. Your girth is significantly greater as well. Lots of good muscle on you now. Yes, yes, plenty of meat there. Now, it's a bit piecemeal. I'm afraid I couldn't get the complete package from just one other cadaver. So you've got a sampler plate of limbs and body parts. Exciting, right? I pulled most of your new torso and right arm from an unlucky trucker, but your left came from a security guard who I'm fairly confident was engaged in some uh, less than reputable work on the side. I took the liberty of removing some questionable tattoos from that arm before affixing it to you. No, no, no need to thank me, just a professional courtesy. Shh, shh, none of that now. Sorry about that. Uh, just a precautionary sedative. I admit curiosity to how well this will work on your physiology. The dosage is high for a human, but given your immense physique now, I, I think it necessary. Seems to have worked, though you're still conscious. Good, we can keep talking. Now, your left calf is from a member of, well, the opposite sex. It's what I had to work with, all right. And it is quite the specimen, very good muscle tone and ligaments that an animated skeleton would kill for. Oh, is that sedative kicking in more? Pity. We'll talk more later, then. In the meantime, sweet dreams and 